Hello. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the tutorial found in the doc micmac PDF file. It's the Muir St. Martin dataset, and it shows how to do a calibration style workflow. So to get started, I'm going to clear any previous runs I've had and copy those images over. Got 35 millimeter in the EXIF, so it's good. Now these first six images are the calibration images. Looks like they took a picture of a pile of rocks, and then they use the same camera settings to get the actual image data they wanted to use to create the 3D data. So I'm going to go over here, tapioca. I know the tutorial says to do all. Image size will be 1,000. And it's going to be just the first set of images. I'm going to clear the selection. And select the first six calibration images and run it. Okay, that's done. Close that. Let's see the tie points between the images. And this will be an example of one that really work well for this display because some of the images are sideways and some are landscape orientation. But the tie points are good. And I want to come down here to the steps in the written tutorial. And this is what was just run. It's tapioca, mode of all, the first six images. That's what that regular expression is for, with a size of 1,000. Now for the rest of the images, it's going to be line mode. So I'll do the selection first. I'm going to invert the selection to deselect the calibration images and select all the others. Mode is going to be line, and the delta is 4, as shown right here. So go ahead and run that. And since the calibration images are completely separate from the actual images that we're interested in, you don't want to include them in the same type point matching process that are kept separate. All right, that's done. Close that down, back to the tutorial instructions. Now this basic usage that they mentioned here doesn't use the calibration images, it just does a straight run. I'm gonna skip that Go all the way down to section 344. That's page 53 in the PDF manual. And I'm going to run to pause with these options. Uh, the first one, creating the calibration, and then we feed the calibration into the rest of the images. So I'm going to pause. See, so yeah, I believe it was radial extended. I'm going to invert the selection again, so we only have the calibration images selected. And see if that matches it. It's real extended calibration images. And we have an out of calib that already matches the tutorial. So go ahead and run that.
So the calibration run is complete. Everything is green and good. And I close that. And the next step. Yep. I want to invert the selection again. And we won't be using the calibration images and any other selections since that process is complete. I'm going to go down to Orient Final. It'll use the calib as the input. All will be the output. And I can change the mode to AutoCal to match the tutorial. Okay, so I'll set up and good to go. And go ahead and run that. Oops, and yes, I do want to continue because I don't want the calibration images. Okay, and that's done. Everything's green and looking good. It looks like one of the images has a little yellow 71%. That means it threw away about 30% of the tie points. Okay, let's see what the written tutorial says. Anything else? I don't know, that's the end of the written tutorial, so I guess I'll just complete it with a a quick sparse cloud. And again, I didn't change the selection because I want to keep the calibrated images or calibration images deselected so that they're not to be used for the 3D reconstruction. All right, and there it is. 3D reconstruction of the wall is complete. And so is this tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching.